Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Industrial Automation. Epi this will be episode 5 and I've decided that I'm going to need to build some more buildings but I want to build them out of smooth stone. So I decided we're going to build our first automated system using red power to generate smooth stone for us automatically. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to need is an alloy furnace and I should have some bricks here somewhere yep the way you build an allied furn furnace is you take bricks and put them in a pattern like this and you have your alloy furnace and let's go ahead and set that down right here and we'll get some charcoal here from my chest and the first thing we're going to want to make with that is going to be some red alloyed wire so let's go ahead and whoops wrong chest get a stack of redstone and some copper. You can use either copper or iron. Either one will work for making your red alloy wire. So let's go ahead and stick that in. And it takes one copper and four redstone for each um, red alloy ingot, as you see here. So we'll let those cook. And the next thing we're going to need is going to be a diamond saw. And again, I go to the wrong chest. So for that, we're going to need two iron, two diamonds, and some sticks. Let's see, where did I put my wood? I'll get some wood here somewhere. I thought I had some wood here somewhere. Now there's some sticks. So. so if we put three sticks, two iron, and two diamonds, we get a diamond handsaw. Now you can do lots of neat things with the diamond handsaw, which I will show you later when I'm actually working on some buildings in that. But for now we need it for something else we're going to cook here in the Allied Furnace. So let's go ahead and see how this is doing. That should be enough for now, so let's go ahead and pull that out and pull out our red alloy. And next what we want is I'll need some coal and some sand. So let's get a stack of coal. And a stack of sand. And this is going to make a uh, ingredient we need for making some of the advanced machines called a silicon boule. So we'll go ahead and take the silicon boule here, leave a couple more making. And what we do is we put it and the diamond saw in and we get silicon wafers. We will need those to make some of the devices we're going to make. And let's see, should have a couple more here. Uh, let's let one or two more cook there. Whoops. Okay, next what we're going to need is a stack of Nicolite. Let's go ahead and get two stacks here.
and we're going to put in those in the Nikolite and what we're, we're going to get out of this is going to be our blue doppled wafer. We're going to use that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and start building our machine area while that's cooking. So let me go out here. And ultimately I will build a building around this, but for now let's just clear a little area here quick. And build our beginnings of this. Let's go ahead and fill in this dirt, make it a little more level where I overdug. Okay, and let's go get some cobble. I'm sorry, it's taking me a little bit here. I'm sort of doing this in my head. And I should have had it more thought out in advance. So I apologize for that. Now I shouldn't need that tall. Let's go ahead and... Okay, that should do what we need there. And next I'm going to need a couple of buckets. So let's grab some uh, tin here. You can make buckets out of either tin or uh, iron. So we'll go ahead and make two buckets. And then we're going to run down quick and get a bucket of lava. And down we go. Okay, I believe they got some nice lava reserves down here. Yep. And we got a bucket of lava. I'll go back up. And we're going to build our first actual machine. of red power here in just a moment.
up and up and up. And it looks like it's getting to be nighttime here. So let's go ahead and sleep and make a day. Okay. We've got our buckets and we need to build our first machine here, which is going to be a red power block breaker. So let me see here what we need. Okay, we're going to need a piston and an iron pick. So let's go in here and get some iron. Oops, again, the wrong chest. So let's, we're going to need four iron. Oh, there's my wood. You're probably screaming at me. It's right there. Really? Uh, I'll just go ahead and grab a whole stack. And we also need some redstone. And again, the wrong chest. Oh, I already have some redstone. So let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll go down here to our furnace. We see that we've got our blue doppled wafers. And we're going to go ahead and throw this in with some redstone, which I will now need more redstone, and make some red doppled wafers. We'll need those in a little bit. Okay, so first of all, go ahead and make our piston, which I'm if any of you have played Minecraft before, probably made more than your share of pistons. This is another item that I hope to automate making fairly quickly. Okay, then we also need an iron axe. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we put an iron axe there, a piston here, redstone here, and surround it with cobble. And we have a block breaker. Now another thing I'm going to need, which I need one more piece of iron for, is a screwdriver. So let me grab my iron here. And the screwdriver really is basically just a stick and a piece of iron. Okay, next thing we need to do is grab some more cobble. I got some here with me. I'm going to throw the cobble in and get it to be smooth stone. And here we have, oh, we need one more piece of uh, redstone. Oh, no, we need more than that. Go ahead and throw the whole stack in there. Let that finish up. Now, the next thing we're going to making our alloy is some uh, blutricity wire. So we're going to need some silver and some more nickel light here. And then we're also going to ultimately need some cotton. So let me grab, or wool, excuse me. Grab some wool. And while that's cooking, let's go ahead and see if I've got this set up correctly. So we're going to go ahead and put down our block breaker here. And then we're going to use the screwdriver to give it a few whacks to get it pointed in the right direction. We want the little dot pointing straight out. There we are. And we're going to go up here. And on this end, we're going to pour in our bucket of lava. And 
And over here we're going to go get a bucket of water. And it came up too high. So let's see what happens when I break this. Ah. So let's try this again. Let's go ahead and jump out of here and hope I don't. Okay. And see if that got it. There we are. That's what we wanted. Okay. Now, we've got a basic cobble generator for block breaker. But we need some red power to power this. So let's go back in and make a couple timing circuits. So So to make the timing circuits, what we're going to have to do is take our smooth stone we just made and cook it again, which will give us stone wafers. And let's go down here and check our, uh, okay, we got our red doppled wafers. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make some electricity wire, which is silver ingots and uh, nickelite. So I'll let that cook up. And we should have enough here to start. Yep, yeah, let's go ahead. And we're going to want to make a basic timing circuit. So we're going to need some smooth stone, some red stone, and another stick. So let's go ahead and make ourselves another set of sticks. Okay, so we're going to need two redstone torches. Actually, we're going to need four redstone torches. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some redstone torches. And I think we're going to need six of the six basic paths. And then we're going to need I think six of these as well. And we're going to need two of these. Two of these. And we need a couple more stone wafers, so let's go grab them. And that makes us two redstone timers. So let's go ahead and drop some of this stuff out of my inventory here. And 
let's make some redstone wire here. And let's go get our blue alloy. And we're going to make some blue wire here. And I just realized I'm going to need a bit more of that blue alloy. So let's go get some more silver here. Oh, let's drop. Oops, that's not silver. Let's drop six. But before we do that, actually, we need to make some brass so we can make some brass tubes. So let me grab some copper. And some tin. And for some reason, I'm really lagging right at the moment. So let me see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay, I don't know what's happening there, but that seemed to take care of it. Okay, now let me remember where I was. Oh, yep, yeah, we made our red timing circuit, and we're going to make our brass tubes. You make brass with the same ratio you make bronze, uh, three copper to one tin, but you do it in the uh, alloy furnace. So let's go ahead and get this and grab some glass. And we have our pneumatic tubes. So let's go ahead and put that. And now we need to do the additional iron. And while that's cooking, let's go ahead and make a chest. We'll go ahead and make three chests actually. And sleep through the night. Oh, monsters nearby. Let me go ahead and take care of that and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, but when I walked out my door to clear out the monsters, a creeper blew up, so I had to rebuild the house and that. There wasn't much damage, but <coughs> that should hopefully take care of that. Now, back to where we were. Our metal. Pick up the nickelite. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go out here and get our cobble generator part of this build going. So we're going to go ahead and pull out our bronze pipe here. Put it here. And then go ahead and put a chest down here. And we'll go ahead and put the circuit we created, one of the circuits we created, right here. And I need to 
pull out my screwdriver. And I'm going to go ahead and put the chainsaw away there because every time I scroll over it, it makes that annoying noise for you. And then we're going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to set it for five seconds. You'll discover later why that particular number, but. And then we're going to go ahead and run our red cable down to here. And we have an automated cobble generator. But I actually want to use smooth stone, so we're going to go a little farther than that. So, but next, I'm going to need to build two retrievers. So let's go build those next. Actually, what I want to build is filters, not retrievers, sorry. So I'm going to need two more pistons, some gold. I've actually had better luck finding, until very recently, diamonds and gold. But I did finally find some gold here. So, And we're going to need some iron. I think I still have some in my, nope. So two iron. Okay, so let's go ahead and build two pistons quick. Oh, need some more cobble. Fortunately, cobble is something I have plenty of, as you can see. Okay, and then some wood. Then I need two of those red dope wafers I made. If I can remember where I put them. Oh, I put them in the chest here, didn't I? So two red dot wafer or Wafers, yeah, red doped wafers. Sorry about that. And then we just need some cobblestone. And that gives us two filters. Now the next thing we're going to need is an actual furnace. So I'm going to use a red power furnace it's going to be solar powered. So let's go ahead and build the furnace first here. Okay, for the furnace we're going to need some actual clay blocks. So let me get some clay here. And my inventory is all over the place. Let me get rid of some more stuff here that we won't need. And of course, then I'll never remember what chest it's actually in, but. OK. So we'll go ahead and make some clay blocks here. And we need. Three clay blocks and more iron. I'm just going to grab a stack of iron here. Whoops, assuming I open the right chest. Okay, the next thing I'm going to need 
is some solar panels. So let's go ahead and pull up this that I made previously. And the solar panel for this is basically blue alloy in the middle and then you surround it with blue doped wafers. And four of those are probably not going to be enough so let me go ahead and uh, get some more nickelite here. Grab two more of these to cut up. go to the wrong chest yet again. Pick up some more silver and another stack of Nicolite and we'll go ahead and throw that in the furnace too. Okay, and one more piece of the puzzle here is I think we'll go ahead and build a battery box, which means we need to build some actual red power batteries. So let's see, uh, yep, I should have what I need, I think, yep. So if we put, we're going to need four batteries, so if we put four Whoops, that's iron, not tin. We put four tin here. And four copper here. Four copper here. And surround it. And I'm going to need just a touch more nickelite, so let me grab a little, another stack here. Whoops. Okay, and then to build the actual battery box, we need one blue alloy. Now I need the iron. Where did there it is? Three iron, four batteries, and a piece of wood. And that gives us a battery box. So let's go ahead and see if our blue wafers are almost done. Oh, they're still working on it. So let's go sleep so it's day and I will go out and start setting stuff up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put a uh, filter right here. And again, we're going to have to get out our screwdriver. Give it a couple wax here to get it lined up right. There we go. 
And then we're going to lay down a couple brass tubes. And let's go ahead and clear just a little bit more space here. And we're going to go ahead and lay down our oven. Put a retriever, sorry, a filter, I keep calling it a retriever for some reason, on this end. Go ahead and give it a few wax. Put a piece of brass pipe here on the end. And then lay down another chest. And I'll probably want to ultimately put one more chest on here, but okay. So next I'm going to go ahead and lay down some wire here. So except that I, yep, there's the wire. And we're going to go ahead and lay our bat box right here. And then we're going to go ahead and continue our wire here. Well, let's make it go one more here. And we'll go ahead and lay down our solar panels. Now you don't, the solar panels will interconnect, so we don't have to cable them together. So we can just lay them down next to each other and they will all connect each other, so. And we're slowly getting some power in there. And in there, but it'll be a while before it's up. Because I think we really need about eight or nine panels to power that, so. Let's see how this is doing. Okay. So we just need the ingots to cook. So let's go ahead and do some more wiring here on it. And I'm actually going to need to do this just a hair differently than I was thinking. Okay. Then we're going to take Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's go ahead and Apparently, I can't do that. And apparently, for some reason, my circuit here has stopped working. There we go. I'm not sure what was going on there. Let's see if we can rotate it now. Okay. I'm not sure what was going on there, but let's go ahead and try our cabling again. Ah, it seems to be going in the wrong slot. And it's sending an entire thing at a time. So let's go ahead and uh, and we'll 
I'll try reversing it, see if that makes it work correctly. Okay, now it's going in the correct side. Go ahead and throw this reserve back in. And then we'll go ahead and put down our last clock circuit here. Now let's no, we'll put it right here. And we're going to go ahead and set it for five seconds also. The reason I chose five seconds, that's about how long this takes to uh, cook a piece of stone. So it will be pretty steadily pr producing out. And we're producing about enough energy to keep it going, but I'd like to build up a charge in the battery, so it'll work at night. So let's go ahead and put a couple more cells down. Okay, that should take care of that. We'll go ahead and put our solar cells down. And I will, this, I think that's where we'll end this episode. It ran really long, and I apologize for that. But at least now we have a supply of smooth stones for our future building. Well, thanks a lot for watching, as usual. If you give me a like or a subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have fun Minecrafting. I will see you next time.